We're living on this planet as if we had another one to go. Well, unless a certain multi-billionaire manages to make Mars inhabitable, this planet is our only hope. All seriousness, how can we make planetary health sustainable? Deforestation is one of the most evident problems affecting our planet in status quo. As we all know, hand planting trees is the simplest way to fight deforestation. However, it's too slow and inconvenient. That's when experts came up with a modern twist to the solution, reforestation drones. Drones carrying biodegradable seed pods fly over a certain area, dropping seeds efficiently and orderly. A drone carrying 300 pods can cover one hectare in 18 minutes and can also carry multiple species of plants. Now that we plant the trees at a faster rate, how can we protect them? Introducing Nucleario, a reforestation device which mimics the function of leaf litter that provides many useful functions to tree saplings. For example, keeping moisture levels high and protecting from invasive species. With all these innovations, we can certainly fight deforestation more efficiently, thus increasing oxygen levels. Wait, but what can we do for our atmosphere? Everyone knows that air pollution is a problem, yet there hasn't been a visible decrease in the harmful gases in our atmosphere. That's because the little things that turning your air conditioner off a few hours a day are no longer enough to fight carbon emission occurring on a global scale. The severity of this situation calls for more effective technological measures, with the example being direct air capture technology, or DAC technology for short. DAC technology captures carbon dioxide in the air by using solids of the filters that can take by the system. When the filters are heated and placed under a vacuum, they will release the CO2 which can be stored or used for other purposes. This technology achieves carbon removal, where the amount of carbon released into the air is equivalent to the amount being released. Moving on, we can talk about planetary health. Now, mentioning the biggest part of our world, the ocean. Undeniably, the ocean and its wildlife have suffered the most from pollution. Marine wildlife often mistake plastic for prey. Most then die of starvation as their stomachs become filled with plastic. The ocean cleanup company has come up with a few solutions to tackle this problem. First, by cleaning up the oceans. Systems consisting of a barrier and two vessels that guide waste into a retention zone are placed in ocean plastic hotspots. The span, speed, and direction are corrected by the vessels. Once the system is full, the retention zone is emptied onto another ship. Second, interceptors are placed in strategic locations in rivers so that the main plastic flow is captured. Guided by the natural currents and the interceptors barriers, the waste moves onto a conveyor belt and is stored in a machine. Waste from both of these systems is collected and sent to waste management facilities to be recycled, turned into new products whose profits will fund this ocean cleanup effort. In conclusion, the Earth doesn't belong to us, we belong to the Earth. And after carefully using all of its resources, the least that we can do is utilize our technology to save it. Plus, we don't have much time. It's really true that we have only until 2030 before we hit the point of no return. And also says too much damage for us to save. We look forward to more innovative and brilliant solutions by scientists to ensure sustainable planetary health for future generations.